Do you hear that? I think that's the wind or something. So I just got up at about 4 a.m. and I'm gonna head uh, out to see if I can do a time lapse of the sunrise. But uh, we're certainly just entered Drake's Passage tonight. And we just did, that's why I'm up. All right, I'm gonna go outside. Should be fun. Oh yeah, we're certainly in Drake's Passage. It's, I mean, it's not like angry seas or anything, but uh, we've certainly been rocking and rolling all, uh, all night long. See my breath? It's gotten colder. Just entered Drake's Passage. This is pretty exciting. pretty calm today but there is no time lapse of any sunrise occurring now or in the foreseeable future today. Um, I think it's just going to be a slow lift of light in the gray. Um, we've got a, I think it, two days in this before we hit Antarctica. It's, this is pretty, pretty amazing to be out here. Imagining the tall ships with Horace, Drake, Magellan, kind of get to share the waters with those guys just now. Well, I don't think there's a job to do up here this morning. I think I'll go back and get some sleep, uh, see what we can do tomorrow morning. It is uh, getting cold. Uh, it's not frigid, but uh, it's just when the wind picks up a little. Uh, my hands are cold holding the camera you know, a little bit. It's not bad yet, but it sure has changed overnight. I was up here in a t-shirt yesterday. I don't want to leave. It's, it's really it's this awesome moment. What a morning. We've just headed due south, taking a turn in Drake's Passage, headed straight for Antarctica. Going to be crossing the 50 latitudes, heading into the 60 latitudes. Good morning folks, get your sea legs. We're clocking in at first morning on the boat. And we're gonna go and get some breakfast. The movement's quite nice when you're asleep. I don't know how it is when you eat. We're now officially in the Drake's Passage. We're in open, open, rough waters. And that happens every now and then. We've been told to take great care of fingers indoors because with this momentum, the doors being particularly heavy will close. And in fact, people have even cut their thumbs off. So. Is it good idea to sanitize? Yeah. Germs on ships are a thing? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Good morning. Fun, I guess, if you like feeling drunk in the morning. Absolutely. 
we're at breakfast the first morning. I've been up on this bow since about four and then took a little nap after that. And I come down to breakfast and I'm very excited because it's two of my favorite things on one plate. Bacon and my most favorite herring. I was so excited when I saw herring. And I got grabbed this, I'm not even sure what it is, but it's some kind of fish and I think there's a smoked fish, but herring. All right, boys and girls, it's map time over here. It's your drunken map history. So, let me try and keep this stabilized for you. Here we have the origin in Uswaya, Beagle Ch Channel, which we sailed through, very small on this particular map. But this is what we've done. This is where we are, in the middle of the Drake's Passage. This is what we're rocking through right now. And we're gonna aim for the Shetland Islands and make landfall somewhere on this peninsula. I understand it's very much a day-to-day -day decision based on weather as to where exactly we want, but we got a ways to go. getting very excited because we, we someone spotted an owl out here out here in the middle of the Drake's Passage where it's just ocean for miles um, we're hoping it's not lost I couldn't get a great shot of it all I had with him was my iPhone but uh, yeah he's just flying around out here and we just got an entire briefing on the seabirds out here this morning uh, which included penguins, seagulls, and albatrosses. Um, Owl was not in the list. So everyone's a little confused as to what he's doing flapping about out here. Uh, I think he's lost. But if anyone knows why an owl would be out here in the middle of the Drake's Passage, let us know. So I spoke to the ornithologist just now to figure out why there's an owl out here. Sadly, he's overshot. He's just a barn owl that um, doesn't have a, a long uh, migratory pattern and he's supposed to come down to South America, at most get over to the Falkland Islands. There's a small population of them uh, over there. Um, but we're about 700 kilometers away from the mainland right now. And uh, he reckons that that might have been a deadly mistake for that little barn owl. He did say it is kind of customary for these birds to spread out a lot and it's kind of in their system to calculate for some loss. Um, it's a bit of a, a breeding risk really. If some of these little young guys can fan out and find other, other owls from the main population, then that's a, a breeding win. Um, but this guy took a risk. I think that was the last we'll ever see of that owl. So there you go crew delivers more unusual experiences yet again. Around the world, off my jacket. Can't let him do it by himself. So 
we just completed the biosecurity, which is necessary to uh, basically land on Antarctica. There's only two types of plants that grow down there, so they're very concerned about bringing in other seeds from other parts of the world. Although the guy did say it's actually not from um, tourists that most of this stuff gets down there, it's tour guide operators, scientists, and photographers. So we are the main culprit for bringing in seeds because we travel around the world so much. So the guy, they vacuumed everything, they vacuumed our pants, they vacuumed our jackets, and then this other guy, he picked through all of the Velcro with a pair of tweezers to make sure that there were no seeds or anything in there. So it was quite a thorough job. Considering the places we've been, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then the last thing we have to do is wash our boots and our, the feet of our tripods uh, when we disembark onto the Zodiacs to go and make a landing. Hey guys, crushing a little onboard workout here while we're crossing Drake's Passage to Antarctica. Bit of a wobbly workout down here in steerage in the boat, but we're getting it done. It is tough to do weights in here. Squats, anything like this hard, but also flies because your weights are going backwards, forwards. All right, guys, that's a workout. That was a good one. Nice 30 minute little crusher, upper body, a little bit of legs. That was tough to do, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll do some more tomorrow. Try a few machines. And that is the workout from the bottom of the boat on the way to Antarctica. So our voyage is taking quite a while. We're going around some wind and some swells. We took more of an easter, southeasterly approach. It's gotten colder. You can feel it through the windows now where you couldn't before. It's gotten really foggy. We're supposed to potentially see some icebergs tonight, tomorrow, something like this. But uh, we're definitely uh, coming in on our uh, destination here pretty soon. But there's a lot of waiting that we're doing as we go along. Uh, we spent the day um, going to some uh, meetings, I guess we would call them. About they have a lot of meetings and lectures and information briefings. With a not so loud PA system. So we get pulled up, but not. We're asking questions of which the answers are.